Ah, uh, God. Sorry I'm late. Got a flat tire. No, I know. It's actually the first time that's ever happened to me. I just moved into a new house and the estate it's on is like a building site. I mean, literally, they're still building it. The house next door to me doesn't have a roof, so I figure there are probably still nails and stuff all over the road, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I totally should try to get some compensation from the building company, but uh, then I'd have to call them and they'd probably kick up a fuss and I don't really uh, like talking to people in situations like that. So I'll probably just suck up the cost of a new tire. Better that than talk to someone. Can you imagine? Oh, <laughs> I mean, I guess you have a little more confidence than me then. <clears throat> so anyway, sorry, that was a huge ramble. Hi, it's really nice to see you again after so long. Yeah, we did used to have fun, huh? Mm, right. Just wasn't the right time. Why'd I call you now? I mean, uh, I was just in town for work, you know? And uh, yesterday I thought, I remembered you saying that you were going to move here, or were thinking about it at least. Um, so I looked you up. <laughs> sure, you can call it stalking if you like, but honestly, you need to sort out your privacy settings. Your profile's wide open. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I hadn't gotten around to deleting mine. But anyway, I took a chance on your old number in case you hadn't changed it. And you hadn't. So, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's nothing to do with making sure I can still contact you. Oh, no, no, I, I meant it. Um, I couldn't be that presumptuous. You just kept it for work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so... What do I do? Like, for work? Or... Oh, hobbies and stuff? Well, I do a little hiking, uh, a bit of writing here and there. Play some D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a few friends, um, mostly from the D&D &D group. Wouldn't say I'm, like, super close to any of them. I don't think I have a best friend, you know? Um, no. No, uh, no partner. No boyfriend, no girlfriend, no they friend. <sighs> I don't know. There have been a few people who I was, like, Maybe one in particular after we, uh, after you moved away. I think rebound is the right word, but no, nah, we weren't really that compatible. Yeah, I, I went on a few dates after that, but, um, never really felt the click. Not like it was with, uh, well, you know, you do know, come on, don't maybe say it. Well, with us, you know, there was that click. Everything felt comfortable and right. Like, that was how life was meant to be. And without that feeling, pursuing anybody else just feels a bit pointless. I stopped putting effort into going on dates and things. Like that. I probably shouldn't have, but, you know, just seemed pointless. I'm fine with it now, anyway. I'm a happy, happy bachelor. <clears throat> Sorry. Not sure why that sounded so bitter. <sighs> what about you, anyway? Kind of same, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it is hard to make friends in a new place, isn't it? Especially when your hobbies don't really involve other people. It's kind of why I picked up D&D. &D. just seemed an easy way to meet new folks. Oh, you should give it a try. teach you how to play <laughs> I mean sure if you'd like I'm still pretty new but I wouldn't mind oh but I live like ages away now it'd be hard to find the time to come out here and well you know it'd be awkward but maybe we'll figure it out I'd like to figure it out yeah right we could just do it online or something we'll see it's better in person though Hmm. And so, you found it hard to make friends here. 
What about something more than that? Anything going on with you, um, you know, romantically? What about the room? Oh, oh God. Oh God, I just did the anyway, how's your sex life line. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Good. You get it. But, you know. Have you met anybody? <laughs> this is like a game of Snap or something. We just keep finding ourselves in the same situation. It's uh, making me feel kind of nostalgic. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I do miss how things were. It was good. Uh, it was exciting. Part of me wishes we had tried long distance, you know? I mean, I know we were both really apprehensive and didn't want to risk ruining things. But we both said we'd prefer to just end it on a positive note. But I don't know. Sometimes I think that was stupid. We should have put more effort in. <clears throat> but I guess, you know, it was just as much up to me as it was to you. I made that decision too. That job offer of yours was just really badly timed. <sighs> yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I uh, have to go. Yeah, I took the morning off work to travel up here, but I've got a meeting at 12 on the dot, and the office is on the other side of town. It's been really, really nice to see you again. Brought back a lot of memories. More than I expected. I, uh, I'll have to hit you up for a D&D &D crash course if you are serious about that. It's always fun teaching someone something new. Hmm. Well, uh, oh. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Thank you. That same fragrance I've always worn. You smell good too. <sighs> I don't want this to end. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Um, you know, I could, uh, I could just call in sick. I mean, the meeting isn't, no. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to call in sick. Let's go.